everyone, I'm Denise Love, and here's a little preview of what we're doing today. So let's get started. I have a new art haul for us today, and I did not expect to have another art haul so close behind the one that I just did, but my Art Snacks quarterly box came, and this was the monthly box that went to quarterly, and they try to frame it as, this is such good news, it's what our followers wanted to go to four times a year. And I'm thinking, no, I did not. I wanted that every month box, but very first quarterly box for us to check out. And the palette box came also like two days before that. And I showed you the Sketchbox one in the last video and it was a total win for the month. And so it's gonna be very interesting to see what we got in these two art boxes. And then I got a couple extra goodies just because some new stuff came out and I'm like, oh, well, you know I gotta have that. So, let's just take a look at what's in some of these and another little yummy package here. So, I ordered um, a couple fun things, a grayscale and value finder. So, this is a really cool tool that you can use to figure out if you have all the values in your piece of art as you're painting. And you can take a picture of your painting and you could turn it into grayscale on your phone and you could kind of look and see, did I get all the values in the piece? Is it interesting with the light and the dark and some values in between or is it all too samey samey? What is it missing if you're thinking, oh, it's kind of bland. I don't know what it's missing or where to go. This might be the tool that can kind of help you figure out, oh, I don't have enough contrast, or oh, maybe a touch of black or a touch of white will pull that together for me. Um, so these are really fun to have, and I used to have one, and I've hid it from myself, and when I saw it, I thought, oh, I think I need that again. So that will be fun to play with. I also got this um, a very fun, it's called Quick Omp. I think that's how you say that, or Quick Omp. Something, okay, is an artist drawing tool. Basically what it is though, is like a camera viewfinder for me. And it's the rule of thirds. And it kind of helps you if you're out, say drawing a landscape and you're trying to figure out proportions and how to get that drawn on your paper correctly. It helps you divide your scene into different proportions, different boxes here. And so then you could kind of duplicate like what is it you see in each little box and you could then draw and figure that out. I use it kind of like a viewfinder for rule of thirds where I can be like, okay, have I gotten on my composition, on my painting, a, a subject or interest on one of these lines. And so I kind of use it like rule of thirds and hold it up above my piece where I can see the whole piece of paper in it and try to say like, okay, here's where my subject should be on this line and I can put a focal point there. And it kind of helps you visually start thinking in off centering stuff and more interesting points on your piece. So I love that. And it's like a little camera viewfinder, which is what I've done for the past decade the most. And so in my mind, it translates very easily for that. And then I know you see this. <laughs> so I believe that Derwent has discontinued these original sets and I love them so much. They sit right here on my table on my little shelf back here. And you know, I love these so much, but I think what they have done is discontinued maybe these original sets and they've come out with new sets. And I haven't seen any official announcement. So if anybody else has seen the official announcement saying these are going away, that'd be great if you'd point us to it because I can't find anything when I Google it. But if you go to the Blick uh, website, blick.com, um, it says these are only available while supplies last. So, and then somebody else mentioned in my group that they were discontinued and I'm like, oh. So I believe they have replaced those with a new set of colors. So this is the Graphitent blocks and I had to open it and look at it. So this is the original. Oh, you know what they've done? Now that I'm looking at that, this one's called Graphite Box. This one's called Graphitent Blocks. Ha ha! Okay, now I'm kind of 
I'm kind of starting to see what they're thinking, but does that mean that these are still available, not available, discontinued? I'm not sure. And I'm going to compare these colors because that blue and that green and that brown might be similar, but these three colors here look a little different. So I'm definitely going to do a little color swatching for those to see how did they change and that original set may be discontinued. So this one is called extra large charcoal. This one is called tinted charcoal. So they do at least have a little variation on the name. Um, the other one I opened to look at it because I was so excited. This one, I have not taken the plastic off because they broke. And I'm like, uh-oh, she's broke inside. And so it's a messy little charcoal powder fiesta going in here but I actually don't even mind that they broke so it's not a big deal because I pick up chunks and I color on the paper so it does not bother me but because these little lids come off and the plastics on there if you're in an art store you might open that container and make sure that the one that you're getting is full blocks if that's gonna bother you and these are very similar but slightly different because there's a blue in here the white is the same probably I, that does look very similar there's a purple so we're going to definitely need to test these out to see what's the original and what's that new set and the difference and then look at this we got something i've never seen before extra large ink tint blocks and i have the ink tint little little blocks but Look at these. These are insane. Um, so those are going to be fun. And I'm sure they're water soluble and they're going to give you really intense punches of color. So I thought that would also be fun to have as soon as I saw these things were available. All right. So before we get into those, this is a little envelope, which I have resisted opening so that we could do an opening. I, in the last sketch box, there was that Archer and Olive acrylic pen. And I loved it so much because it was such a fine line to that pen versus, say, the Posca pen. It was even finer than that. It had a really nice, sharp tip to it. And it's acrylic paint, so we know we can put it on our piece and it'll be um, acrylic paint and not ink. And then we can get that fine line and how do we even open these here we go so directions shake press clean and store they do recommend you store these um, laying down like this but I got two sets this was the primary set primary selection and I got the 0.7 millimeter tip because that was the tip that I liked so much in the sketch box one and I have been toting that little pin around with me, and I'm not sure if it's sitting downstairs. Oh, no, it's sitting right here. <laughs> and see, they've got this nice, fine point tip, and it's an acrylic paint in there. And so it's a totally different mark than we get with our Posca pen. And there's some awesome colors this set here is the jewel collection there was another set that i really wanted and too just to tell you if you go to like to the shopping part of it like 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 you're done looking and you go okay let me go pay for my order they offer you a deal on some of these and it was like ten dollars off of whatever collection that it was offering so you might look at the little deals at the end before you check out too um, but these are super fun they've got um, these are the more muted colors I picked up and the brighter colors and I think that I'm gonna love those just as much as this original one because this has been fantastic so those are gonna be fun to explore and I'm thinking you know Good job, Sketchbox. Totally got me to want a supply so bad that I went to their website and looked for it. <laughs> okay, let's open the palette full box first. Um, I haven't even peeked. I haven't looked at any of the emails to tell me what we're getting. I do hope it's different than that one box that was weirdo jackered um, <laughs> ink things. Um, so let's see what we got. Okay, sand sharpener. We've got some blending stumps. Uh-oh, look at this. 
Carbonthello Stabilo Chalk Pastel Pencils. Okay, y'all, that's a win because the pastel pencils are lovely to use and are really good for mark making. And we're definitely gonna enjoy using these in our abstract art. So that is a win, total win. All right, what else we got here? Ooh, look at here, artist chamois. Nice. So these are good for blending. You can you know, wipe some stuff away. Ideal for use with pastels, graphite, and charcoal. Perfect for blending or lightening a heavy application to give a smooth finish. Rinse after use. Let it dry naturally. 100% um, natural product, and the sizes vary. So, okay, that's a good one. I like the artist shiny. Ooh, what do we got here? We got a sharpener. I like sharpeners. We got a Stabilo Carbonthello another color so this must be a color that's not in the tin as I open it <laughs> the wrong way um, so yeah so it's an extra color that's not in the tin and it's actually a much prettier yellow than the yellow that's in the tin so okay a plus and it looks like we've got a full pad of paper which is why I like these boxes let's see what we got fun <gasps> fun sticker with a dog on it. That one's cute. All right. So we've got Linux cotton paper. This is 250 GSM, 9 by 12, designed to withstand both delicate and bold impressions. The sturdy substrate was our first 100% cotton paper to be purchased by an American mill. With a soft texture finish, it's the ideal surface for graphite, pastel color, pencil, and charcoal. It's the Linux cotton. Okay, so it's not a water paper. Um, but it is a cotton paper and it's got a smooth finish. So it's not like cold press. It's got a nice smooth finish. Okay, so that's going to be fun to test out um, with things that I'm not adding water to. So I don't know if there's hardly anything that I don't add water to, but you know, I have a, a little paper. I want all the papers in addition to like all the supplies. Okay, so we'll say Palletful did a great job this month with the pastel pencils. Good job. Let's see what we got in our quarterly box. All right, let's see. Let's see. I have held on to this for a couple days and somebody's already asked me some questions about these charcoals and I'm like, I don't know. I haven't tried them yet. Waiting for my art haul. I was waiting on a box. <laughs> oh, come here. Oh, I'm trying to open it upside down. <laughs> all right all right let's see what we got here we got our yummy i give these to my neighbor my teacher neighbor she loves them look at all the stuff in the box <laughs> this is like an art haul at the at the art store okay so let's see what we got this month i have no idea what's coming so let's check it out in the box here we have got a set of touch drawing pencils uh, by Shin Shinhan Art. So we got 2H, H, HB, F, and 3H. Got a little sucker. Oh, we got a eraser fun sticker. Let's see what else we got. This is the fall 2023 box. And let's go ahead and see what these are. We've got some Zebra Sensations colored pencils. Okay, I've never heard of that. Looks like it's a two millimeter possible like lead in there. Like these might be lead pencils. Nice. We've got ourselves a sharpener, which I love these sharpeners. I've got one right here in gray. <laughs> Now I have a red one. <laughs> My mom used to love red. She got that red washer and dryer and it was like her prized possession was those red appliances. She loved it. Okay, we got pan pastels. All right, we got yellow, purple, and a green. I don't know if that's my favorite, but I'm liking all the other stuff pretty good. And toned paper. Okay, so this is sand, 50 sheet, 50, what is this? 85 pounds, I think it's 50 sheets. Is that 50 sheets? That's a lot of paper. 
15% um, cotton. I'll just move this box out of the way. And I don't think this is paper for wet stuff. Drawing paper ideal for dry techniques. All right, a dry paper pad. That's very interesting, but I do like the sand paper. Let's see what this says. Toned paper pad for basically illustrations. Suitable for all dry techniques like graphite, pastels, colored pencils. You'll find a big pad of 50 sheets in your box this quarter. Um, 120 GSM. Okay, so that's more like drawing paper. That's okay. We've got a couple of pen pastels. New to art snacks, blend and apply pastel like paint um, and I do like that they've included a couple of applicators because those are handy and then Shin Han art touch drawing pencils high quality graphite uh, made in Japan we've got the kneaded eraser I don't think you can ever have enough of those I have two that sit right up here on my table um, I love those I've used those since art school years and years and years ago we've got the uh, sharpener and then the colored mechanical pencils say goodbye to sharpening with zebra sensations colored mechanical pencils these pencils feature an easy to hold triangular barrel and refillable two millimeter lead they provide smooth vibrant colors and they're easy to blend for shading and layering okay see I think now out of this set I'm most excited about the mechanical pencils because I'm already a mechanical pencil fan having used them for years and years and years in drafting tape off there we go it's a struggle sometimes look at this color I don't know what this color is right here but this one is kind of speaking to me oh <gasps> look how fat that lead is okay that's a win look at here so I've got these little pads of paper let's just let's just test this out Oh yeah all right so I do like these It'd be interesting to see if I put paint on top of that if it runs let's just get some water and see if let's see if it stays where it's at or if it moves around nope stays where it's at so that's really cool because then I can mark make and paint on top of that and those will not move around anymore so these are definitely cool that's this is a win I'm liking this whole set this right here made the whole box worth it and look at how great some of these colors are they're not all bright they're not all pastel it's like a nice blend I love that kind of bluish one that yummy kind of mustardy brown orangey one's cool okay so that's a win all right so let's today is test out going to use one of my wet pads because I want to be able to wet these today is let's test out the charcoals and see the difference in the old set versus the new set what good stuff today oh, I kind of don't want to use that it's a block I want to use one of these where I can get the paper off of it let's just I need a water I need some water paper let's just use my arches here because the pads that we got are dry pads and I don't want to put water on the dry papers oh, super excited about the colors of these acrylic pens that we got um, but let's test these out real quick so this is the original uh, charcoals we've got the yellow and then the new charcoal basically the same color okay and then we've got this yummy kind of aubergine color and I can see that color is in this new set oh but it is brighter it is brighter <laughs> and then let's see what this is this is <sighs> don't blow your stuff I just blew it <laughs> that's like a black and we got a brown kind of excited about this one oh it's a teal and then this white which is awfully dirty but it's still white okay so that's versus black that came in the original I think this is a brown and then I think this is another black 
So really out of these two sets, the biggest difference is that purple is brighter. And if you've got chalk all over your hands, you can use one of these microfiber cloths to get some of the chalk off. And then of course the white, I didn't redo the white, but, and rather than blowing, I usually tap powders out here. Um, but this teal, oh yes, look at that. Ooh, and brown, black. That one's a little brighter. We've got the yellow. See, that's a much deeper purple. And out of this set, that purple is one of my favorite. So I am glad I have the original set. But out of all the rest of these, um, this set gives you a better variety of colors. So the new set is really nice. All right, so let me set this back out of the way. And we will, I'm gonna have to, <laughs> this one all crumbled on me. I'm gonna have to play with that one. That's the tinted charcoal extra large blocks. Let's set that to the side. And let's take a look at these. We've got the graphite and the graphite tint. So green, we got blue. It's a pretty tannish color, a little darker brownish color, silver graphite color, bolder graphite color. All right, let's see how that compares to the graphite tint. That's almost the same color, but a tad brighter, about the same, exactly the same. This one is more of a uh, pinkish tone rather than brown, uh, more like that burgundy shade. And then this purple is more purple. And somebody asked me if this purple was similar to that purple in that box. And that's the question I didn't know yet because I didn't have these open. But now that I have them down here, I do not think they are similar at all. So let's just wet these and see what that is because that's how I like to use these as wet and dry. Oh, see, now that's way brighter than that. This is more muted over here. Oh, much brighter. About the same. That's definitely more reddish, brighter red. And that's a bright, bright purple. So completely different than the original colors of the charcoals too. That's very interesting. We can actually just look real quick. I don't know that I wanna sample all of these at the moment, but it would be nice to see on these extra large graphite sticks, how intense are they? Okay, so they're very hard drawing. So it's a very, it's tougher to get a mark than with those. Those are more crumbly. Just put a couple out here and see what we've got. Now let's throw some water on these. And they are very bright. And even though they're water soluble, some of these water soluble, you know, and look like watercolor when you're done, some of these, you might need to get something like this uh, Aquarelle Caran d'Ache palette, which I've had for a long time. And it's made for the Neo Color 2 water soluble crayons. Um, just never opened it because I like being able to see what's on the package. I'll have to save that. But something like this, we could come and put our medium on here, come and mix with water, and then come back and paint like watercolor. So that is the way um, that these can be more watercolor rather than a mark that's not gonna disappear underneath our water because um, those marks stay. Every bit of that mark is staying right there. So just in case, You've never seen this fun tool. It really seems like a textured cutting board 
for your kitchen is what it kind of feels like and I haven't tested that theory out but just throwing some ideas out there at you <laughs> once you use something for art supplies though it never goes back in your kitchen it needs to stay in your art room um, but this is the rough texture allows for color deposits so that you can wet them smooth texture for all types of paint so it can be a just a regular palette also um, so it's a very cool little tool that I don't pull out enough but I feel like I could pull out if I'm just looking for a watercolor effect with something cool like one of these um, graphites or this yummy extra large ink tents. So this was a fun haul today and I know we did a little more like a swatching um, rather than a full painting but I thought these would be some fun things to check out and just to look at these pastel pencils and usually these are used on top of um, pen pastels to add like details in pastel paintings and stuff like that and nice color they go right on top of like our ch our dry charcoals and stuff so it'll be fun for mark making elements on top of water soluble graphites and things so that's a cool one and then definitely loving these oh my gosh like you don't even know how much I'm loving these and now I'm kind of wondering um, how do you get refills how do you use this because I can definitely see this being like a favorite tool that I use for mark making and drawing and I'm gonna want refills of the one that I probably you know might use the most like this yummy gray green that's so pretty and yeah all right this was a good art haul I'm gonna try not to visit the art store this week <laughs> let me tell you if I lived closer to an art store it, I'd be in trouble I would be broke I would just need to sell my house move into a cot in the back room at the art store and just live at the art store because I don't even know how there's anything that I don't already have and still every month I manage to be like I don't have this how can I not have this <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this fun little art haul and checking out the brand new extra large sticks and if you liked the original sets, those seem to be discontinued because um, they're saying while supplies last. So if you liked those, definitely go ahead and snag those before they're gone for good. And I will tell you that I actually really like that I have those because I love this purple more than anything. Um, on the original set, the blue and the green were the ones I used the most. So I actually do like the newer set better on these graphite ones. I love these three extra colors on these charcoal ones. So definitely gonna have fun with these block sets. All right, so I'll see you next time.